really quick way to visualize this project in 3D is to use the massing model. Here's a massing model here, and we could trace over this, this project here, but it's actually going to be quite slow when we get uh, later on. So one of the tricks we can do, since we've already got a polygon shape, is we could offset the polygon to give us the footprint, because the, this at the moment is the roof area of the house. So just by giving a footprint like that, so that's my footprint, don't forget to take it off that class. If you leave it on that class, we will have trouble. Let's put on the massing model, proposed roof class. Uh, if you leave it on the wrong class, when we do our updated worksheet, it will count that polygon as well. You'll have twice as much here as you thought you had. So we've got this object. It's a polygon. I should be able to right click. Now I've added to my right click objects from polyline. This will make it really quick to make a massing model. If you haven't done that, you'll have to go to modify, choose objects from polyline, and then use the massing model. There it is there. Let's delete our source polygon because we don't want to see it. And we'll show our properties dialog. So we could name it if we want. We're going to see it in plan view, the wall class. I've already created a class for my massing model called proposed walls. And I've already created a roof class for my massing model, proposed roof. Now I think my overhang is 18 inches. 450 mils. It is a pitched roof that I want. I don't want to draw the floors. I want to use site modifiers. And my overall height of my building is four and a half meters with just one floor. Now I did choose to delete the existing polygon, so the, the polygon that's there on the screen will disappear. We could name it if we want. I hardly ever do this, but we could call it New House 2. And there it is. We could put a label on if we want, put the name label on it, so it's automatically got the labels that we want. So that's my first stab at my three-dimensional project. Uh, this is my garage. So let's objects from polyline, massing model. Everything should be the same, new house. Uh, we'll call it new garage too. And here, let's go to the label and say, let's put a name label on it. OK. No, oh, I forgot to offset that, didn't I? So I need to offset that. Let's make sure I've got a copy of that. And objects from polyline on that one. I don't know if you noticed, but it actually got too, too big. And that was the giveaway. So new garage. New garage 2 and we're going to have our name on there and there it is new garage 2 with your selection tool you can move the labels to make them easier to read if you want so i now have a new garage and a new house and if i visualize this from a rear view there it is it's a pretty quick stab at my three-dimensional project Ideally, we want to create massing models for all the surrounding buildings. We need to see them. Luckily, I've got this base drawing. And you might remember, we saved a view, a rotated plan. So this house over here is the next one I want to draw. I'm going to use rectangles, and I'm going to add them together. So I'm a bit close to there, so I can disable that with that squiggly key. So there's that rectangle. There's another one in here. And there's this part of the building projecting out there. So right click, add surface. So I add all those together, use my offset tool this time to change to this mode where it offsets the original object. There it is. And then right click and objects from polyline or go to modify and choose objects from polyline. This is a massing model. And we're going to take that existing building. So this is an existing building and the name the heights really only three and a half meters for these existing buildings and okay so there it is existing building we've got this existing building here so I'm going to go back to my offset tool this time I want to have a copy of this don't forget to take that class away and put it on a different class maybe none would be a good class for that and select that object and offset that one as well. Also put that on the none class. 
Now these two, I want to use default attributes. There we are. And we're going to make both those into a massing model. Objects from polyline. Don't need to see this anymore because it should just put, on, put them on, put existing building on. Uh, this one I just need to move that back onto there. And we need to do the same for all the existing buildings around here. Let's just check this because I think I've got some of my classes wrong. I forgot to check these. I've got a class I think for massing model existing roof and a massing model for the walls. Let's choose the roof class. Massing model existing roof and wall class massing model existing walls. So I've obviously forgotten to do it for these two as well. So massing model, existing walls, and existing roof. That's better. Now I've got some other ones that I've already copied in because I've traced over all these buildings. Paste in place. Let's offset each of those. I'm going to start with nothing selected. Now there is a trick with Vectorworks where if you inset that, uh, it's the control, it's the, con, it's the command key on a Macintosh, we'll select that object and if you make a mistake Vectorx will show you the, the key to use down here on the bottom. So I've selected all of those, let me sell, get all those shapes, modify objects from polyline I better see the properties because I have to set the massing model to existing walls and massing model existing roof. Okay, so there's all my buildings. Now when I look at a visualization I should see a little bit more about what the surrounding buildings look like. So that should be quite cool.